It's a much more interesting story to take someone who hasn't got an opportunity, who has, who has been denied one, and, and say, hey, here's your opportunity, here's your moment, go play your music. It's special. So I hear AEW is for everyone. Well, Sunny Kiss is for everyone. It's crazy because you know I didn't think I was gonna be this successful while doing it. Because when I, when I came in 2013, it was kind of just like, okay, let's see where this goes. And then it's like I got serious about it because I'm like, okay, wow, I can really be like some, something special in wrestling because there's no one out there like me. And then being gay is like, it. and the beginning was challenging, but I think after. Like after I got comfortable with who I was and I got confident about who I was, people started to kind of see that and it kind of made it easier. So it wasn't so much of a challenge anymore. It actually was kind of like, that's when that was beneficial. While you may see me out there shaking my ass, you can guarantee on May 25th, I'll be kicking it too. There's LGBT people um, who are trainees and also wrestlers who are coming up that look up to me. And I feel like it's my job and I have to be that role model and I have to kind of continue to inspire and make people feel more comfortable that, you know, let them know that they can do this. And you can be feminine, you can be, you can be unapologetic and, you know, you can be successful. You'll see. Just once I hit that ring, it's, it's go time.